All right. Oh, Charlie. Quiet. We got a video to do. Charlie says hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, my voice is a little bit hoarse because I'm sick, but uh, let's do this one D&D playtest uh, expert classes survey. And it's open until November 10th. The last one, they extended that feedback period, but hopefully they don't this time because right after the feedback's done, I think we get a new playtest. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. Here we go, expert classes. And take survey. I agree. And next. Uh, yeah, was first edition D&D I played. It was kind of like the basic D&D. &D. It was the Holmes edition basic D&D. &D. Not the original box set, but not advanced yet. Next. I remember getting the advanced Dungeons & Dragons, what was it, Monster Manual? DMG Player's Handbook? I forget what order they came out in, but going into the stores and seeing them come out year by year, asking for them for Christmas and getting them. Uh, it was a magic time back there in 78, 79, 80. Uh, okay, which of the following classes have I play tested? Did them all? get answers and questions for all of them. How satisfied overall with you as they were presented? Rogue, I'm going to go with slightly dissatisfied. Ranger, satisfied and satisfied. Uh, there's just a few things about both that I would change slightly, but overall I liked them. Okay, Elements of the Bard is presented in the article. Let's look at the article for Elements of the Bard. Here we go. So it's something basically standard, you know, existing player's handbook presentation. Creating a bard, that's fine, satisfied. Multiclassing a bard. It's interesting that they move this multi-classing in here. Did the old system rules bard? Creating a bard. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. So multi-classing, it lived in the in the player's handbook. Oh, they don't have it in the chart here. In the player's handbook, if I recall correctly, it's in chapter six. Let's look. Customizing options, multi-classing. They had them all together. And a bard used to need to be our Charisma 13 to multi-class. And now it's, uh, yeah, 13. And you get some multi-classing by class here. I don't know. I don't know that you need to break it out into every class because it was kind of all together, which was nice before. So I'm going to say dissatisfied. Put that back all together again. Bardic inspiration. So I like, I like it and I don't like it. I like what it does. I like that it's in the hands of the bardic player. Um, the fact that it can heal, I feel like the player is going to be always... Um, pressured to use it for healing and i don't like that and its use has been only two per long rest at the start i don't like that uh gosh waving between the two i'm gonna go satisfied i just put in a note a comment um can we get three uses uh there's another class feature that that's why i think it's divine sense for a paladin where it's your charisma modifier plus one this could be proficiency plus one to start all right spell casting oh boy I don't know if I like having every single spell available. Um, I'm going to be dissatisfied on that. Expertise, that's fine. Songs of Restoration. So you always have these spells prepared. Doesn't count against the number of spells you can prepare, but it does count against the spells you can cast. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think that's fine. Bard subclass. I did like the Bard subclass they provided. Being the College of Lore. I like the cutting words. I like that as a reaction. I like you see it's after it happens. Yeah, I'm going to say satisfied on that. Beats gained at fourth level. Uh, I don't know that they told us a whole lot. Just that they do gain him at fourth level. I'll say he's satisfied. Jack of all trades moved all the way up to fifth level. Hmm. I don't know about all the way to fifth. I mean, it was kind of fast at second. It's like, why not make it first if it's second? Fifth, I guess I'm satisfied. I'll say satisfied. Subclass features. I like those. Font of bar inspiration. That is when it becomes a short rest instead of a long rest. And it's seventh level, where it used to be, I think, fifth level. So for most of your adventuring career, you get it twice per day or three times per day. Uh, no, I think that should be like right from the very start. Let's say make, that would fix this, uh, this only getting it three at the start. So make Arctic inspiration always on a short rest like that. Okay, peak gain at eighth level, sure. Expertise again, yeah, subclass. Oh, these subclass features are the fact that you're getting them, I think at the levels you're getting them. It, it should be better on this question. But yeah, it's just, a, they're just going down this list here. And I think it's kind of a neat idea that they're having all subclass features be at the same levels. That could put in some twists on when you can take what what subclasses work with what classes. I guess I'm good with that. Magic Secrets, fine. Feed at 12, yeah. 12 again. Or subclass feature again. Further Magic Secrets, feed at 16. Superior Bardic Inspiration. Remind me of what that is. Okay, when you roll initiative, you regain two expand uses of your inspiration. Huh. 
So short rest and better. I guess that's fine. Beat at 19, epic boon, yeah. Both those prepared spells. We'll use their spells. I think this is just their uh, sample list of prepared spells, which is cool, I think. I like that. I'm very satisfied that they're given those. How satisfied are you with elements of the College of Lore subclass as presented in the article overall? Satisfied? I like the proficiencies. I like. I really like cutting words. Cunning, inspiration, or that. Roll the dice twice. Use the higher of the two rolls. So that's pretty powerful. I'm okay with that. Cutting words. Deal damage to the target. Equal to the number rolled on the Bardic Inspiration die plus your Prismod. That's cool. And Peerless, 14th level. I'll say satisfied. What do you think? Put your, your thoughts in the comments below. And even more important than that, fill out the survey. For sure, fill out the survey. Uh, no special comments. NA. NA on that. Okay. That is the bar. Overall, what I want the most, I like the prepared spells they provided. Uh, multi-classing, you go together. Spell casting, I don't, I'm not sold on, you know, universal lists and everyone knowing every spell. Fonta Bardic Inspiration. I mean, this is going to be offset by the prepared spells, right? Um, the font being all the way up at some level mm, and only getting three Bardic Inspirations to start. Mm, all right, that's the bar. Now, next question is going to be on the Ranger. Let's look at the Ranger. Creating a Ranger. Fine. Multi-classing, put it in the back. Expertise, that's fine. Favorite enemy. Favorite enemy, which is basically that they have the Hunter's Mark spell prepared. Doesn't count against their spells. And you don't have to concentrate on it. Why not just make it a class feature? I mean, I could see for commonality and how the spell works, but don't make it a spell for them. Make it a class feature. So I'm going to go with dissatisfied, favorite enemy, favorite enemy, class feature. There we go. Because, I mean, I don't want it. You know, you're basically cutting the range of spells in half to give them a class feature. That's kind of dumb. Okay, spell casting. Uh, overall, don't like how they have every spell. No, they don't. You know, they only have some spells from the list. What do the rangers have again? Primal, anything but evocation. Fighting styles. Those are at second level, and they're feats now, right? So I'll say that's fine. The ranger subclass at the level they get it, fine. Feat gain, extra attack of fifth, subclass feature at sixth. Roving, I like that. I like roving. I mean, it makes, really makes rangers a rangery. Um, combine this with uh, tracking, and you, you just got the standard awesome ranger. Now, favorite enemy gives you tracking, but I'd say make this a class feature and make there something where they're just really good trackers as well. I mean, they could be expert trackers with their expertise feet, but as such a class-specific thing, I would probably put it as some sort of class feature. So roving, yeah, very much like that. Very satisfied on that. Beats at eighth, fine. Expertise, subclass feature. Tireless is another really, really cool ranger thing. Keep that. Twelfth, nature's fail. That's fine. Subclass features, feral senses. So they have blind sight to 30 feet. And that's like all the time. That's super powerful. Cool. Bow Slayer. I'm real dissatisfied with Bow Slayer. Let's say make Bow Slayer better than a D10. Even two D6 would be good. It'd give you the knowledge that, oh, I didn't roll a one. You know, right? If you get two ones, at least you know you did twice as good as you could have done. Um, be the 19th level, Epic Boon. And I do like their prepared spells. Let's see how they do their spells. Guidance, Thorn Whip. Cure Wounds, Hunter's Mark, Speak with Animals. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, now let's look at the Hunter subclass. Overall, I liked it. Hunter's Prey, I really like this. Um, uh, that's once per turn, so that's like Colossal Slayer. I don't like the once per turn extras. I'm going to go Dissatisfied. I mean, how else do you, though, keep uh, power builds from happening? Well, you just make sure people can't get like five attacks a turn, I guess. Um, don't like once per turn things. Once per turn things. I'm thinking of, what is it? Bloomstalker that's got like six attacks if they have a crossbow before anyone else goes. And I mean, they just win the ND basically. Okay, so that don't like once per turn things. Hunter's lore. I, this is cool. I like that. I'm going to go very satisfied there. Multi attack. That's fine. Spear Hunter's defense. That's fine. All right, that's the Ranger. Um, what do I like? I like the Tasha's things, right? Uh, the roving, the tireless. Yeah, definitely like those. Favorite enemy. I'd like to see that as a class feature. Bow Slayer, way too weak. All right, next from Ranger, we have the Rogue. The Rogue, really the only thing about the Rogue is turning the sneak attack into once per round. Okay, so overall, satisfied. Put multi-class and all in the back. Expertise, I don't think I ever wrote that in the other ones. Um, Let's see here. Arise, all multi-classing. As in the, what is it? Is it 2014? I think it's 2014 player sample. Expertise, that's cool. Um, Maybe a little bit more discussion of how Thieves tools work now here. There is a way to kind of get to how it works otherwise in this article, but probably right with a thief at Thieves Tools. Discussion. Discussion. All right. Expertise satisfied. Sneak attack. Um, very dissatisfied. Let's return again. Or, or give a chance 
of combat. All right. Because what you lose there is a character who wins initiative, but can't sneak attack because there's no one adjacent to his enemies. But his ally goes before his enemy, so if he could move up, ready to sneak attack, his ally gets there, and then he sneak attacks. That's the way uh, you know, skilled rogue players would do it. Or if they have a bow, they'd wait till an ally was adjacent, and then get the sneak attack. And with the rules as written, they can't do that. That's really the only drop. Thieves can't. Uh, it's interesting that they added more languages to Thieves Can't. You know Thieves Can't in one other language. That's cool. <laughs> thieves Can't rarely comes up, actually. So it was kind of pretty weak, but uh, I like that. Very satisfied. Cunning action. I've always loved cunning action. As a rogue player, it really gives you something cool to do. Got standards here. Uncanny Dodge moved up in the level. Or did it? Level was Uncanny Dodge before. Okay. Take a yes. See if I'm right. I'm going to say Uncanny Dodge before. Huh. Might move down in the level. I'm going to say it was sixth level before. Rogue. Uncanny Dodge. Nope. Fifth level. Fifth level. Evasion moved from seventh up to ninth. And, you know, when most games end by ninth level, I think that's too high up. Evasion should be back down. Lower. Uh, but Uncanny Dodge is fine. Uh, subclass feature, fine. Expertise is fine. Feet, fine. Evasion. Dissatisfied. Give the evasion sooner. Most D&D games go to 10th level. And if you're not getting your good powers or your cool uh, thief stuff until 9th level, then you don't really get to play that. Uh, subclass feature. Liable talent. Liable talent. Um, whenever you make a bully check. Okay. That's just the way it was before pretty much. Think uh, subtle strikes. Five feet at least one of your allies who isn't incapacitated. So this is like, um, you know, you have sneak into guy capability in this case. And now you also have advantage. So that's really strong. That's features. Slippery mind. You gain proficiency in wisdom and charisma. Same with throws. That used to be just one of those two, I believe. And so I like that change. Elusive. Um, no attack roll has advantage against you while you're... Wow, that's powerful. So two rogues. Well, you can still have sneak attack if you have knowledge, Jason, but... Huh. You can never be ambushed. That's pretty strong. I like that. Stroke of luck. Turn a 20. I need to fail test to a 20, which makes it a crit. Strong. And epic. All right. Now let's look at the thief subclass. So the... One of my favorite subclasses of Thief, or Rogue, was Thief, but it was like the weakest subclass always. So overall, I think they beefed it up nicely. We have Fast Hands. Now, Fast Hands um, make a dex check. This is how we know that you slide of dex, slide of hand, pick a lock. And then if you have Thief's tools, you would have advantage on that check because you have a tool that goes with the check. Um, then we got second story work. Okay, so you game in climbing speed. It used to just like um, let you climb better. I believe. Let's look at second story. Rogue. Faster than one climb. Lower. Oh. Okay, so it doesn't cost extra movement, but it didn't give you a climb speed. Um, and then the running jump. Distance you covered. Used your dex modifier instead of your strength modifier. And this, then, is the same. You're using dex instead of strength. Supreme Sneak moved from ninth down to sixth. Um, advantage on dex checks. Oh, but you don't have to move half your speed, so that's cool. Use magic device changed up a bit. Um used to be that you basically met the prerequisites of class or race or level, regardless of what class or race or level you were. And that's gone away, but that's probably because racial restrictions have probably gone away. Maybe. We'll see. Um, one new thing you get is attunement to four magic items. That's strong. But it's not thematic. The rogue used to be interesting because he used other people's magic items, not just more magic items. Um, this is kind of dumb and weird. The charges might not expend uh, one out of six times. It's kind of like that will almost never come up. Uh, scrolls. Okay, so I, I don't like the change. I think overall I don't like the change. Um, these reflexes, you get another bonus action. And that's a 14th level. It used to be 17th level. You could take two actions, two turns during your first round, so two full turns in your first round. Okay, so there's the differences. So what do I like and don't like? Fast hands, cool. Second story work, cool. Supreme sneak, I really like it. Uh, no, no one use magic devices. And these reflexes, yeah. So, on the use magic device. Device gained, maybe, power, but lost the theme of using anyone's, ah, anyone's items. All right, that's Rogue. Next. In the playtest, we'd have feats coming up next. Do you use feats when playing? Always. Which of these feats have you playtested? Uh, definitely that. Afternoon. Huh. Durable, yep. Some people took durable. Oh, no. I think they took toughness. <laughs> Definitely haven't played as the big boons yet. I uh, haven't done the fighting styles yet. Although I think I did do great. Nope. Fighting styles. Well, I mean, defensive. Someone's a defensive person. Um, Definitely done that one. Great weapon master. Spire leader, not yet. Servant, not yet. Polar master, yep. Sentinel, yeah. Speedster. That's a, that's a tricky rename of the mobile feat. Okay. 
How satisfied are you with the elements that beats section as presented in the art? Okay. So actor, athlete, charger, um, ability score is cool, actor cool, athlete cool, or just not clear, clarify charge attack, and ensure only works in melee. Okay, crossbow expert. Very happy that changed up a little bit. So I'm going to go dissatisfied with charger, happy with the crossbow expert change, and happy for the changes that were in it that went to other feats that having to do with uh, firing melee. Um, Sharpshooter copied it, and Spell Sniper. Okay, so Crossbow Expert, Defensive Duelist, uh, Wielder, Durable, coming down here all through the list, everything is fine, until I get down to Great Weapon Master. That's a lot of feats. Here we go, Great Weapon Master. Oh, it's got the once per turn damage thing. Um, Okay, so, uh, don't want them to not take away the minus five for plus 10 damage. I'm gonna say satisfied, but put a note there. <clears throat> Four, Great Weapon Master, Happy Removed, Minus five, plus 10. Unhappy with the extra damage being once per turn. Just lower it a little bit, make it with every attack. Okay. <laughs> and that's not great weapon fighting. That's a fighting style. This is great weapon master down here. Still gonna mark it as satisfying. Um, grappler, grappler's fine. I just don't like the grappling overall. So I mean, it was all okay. And then good through the rest of the section. I always don't like how Polar Master gives you an extra attack, whereas like a short sword doesn't. It's like, come on, Polar Master doesn't make you faster in combat. Shouldn't make you faster than someone wielding a, a dagger. So overall, eh, should do other things, but not give an extra attack. So if you had a short sword in one hand, you should be able to attack with it twice. If you can attack with a pole arm, I would think. Uh, I'm up in the air on this one. I'm going to leave it. Okay, resilient. It's good. I'll be down to Sentinel, which definitely needs a rewrite to be edited. Guardian trigger. There we go. Sharpshooter. Yes, sharpshooter. Thank you for moving. Minus five slash plus 10. And adding in melee. Okay, should also remove cover restriction. Um, cover, ignoring cover. If I don't know what it's left to do once you do that. So, hmm. uh, shield master's fine. Skulker. Warcaster. Warcaster feels like the elephant in the room. It's really something that should be either ignore it completely or don't. Uh, the uh, be able to cast spells with stuff in hand. All right, there's that. Um, how satisfied are you overall with the spell list? I liked it. There's some little, um, small little changes where they move some spells around to match the stuff they restrict for various classes. I'm fine with that. Satisfied with all three. No comments. Wow, it says I'm only 30% done with this survey. Whew. Elements of the Rules Glossary as presented in the article. Oh, nice. Okay. So let's see what we got for Rules Glossary. That's a lot of spells. Okay. Um, whipping weapons. So blood check, training. Uh, armor training is kind of cool that they did that. Artisan tool, action attack. Okay. So you can equip or unequip one weapon before or after any action. Uh, I would equip your weapons to change a weapon. Attack action for attack action. Also allow swapping weapons. There you go. Okay, that's good down here. I didn't like the one for the 20 on the heroic inspiration. Um, felt bad. I think I'd go back to 20, even though that piles on the inspiration when you don't need it. I'll still do it. Okay, so that was good. Cane spells for good bark skin. I like bark skin. Really like bark skin. Line sight, climb speed. Okay, d20 tests, uh, change. 20 tests, inspiration back to a 20. But even then, they come too often. There we go. All right. Test dash. Get everything down to hide. Spells exhaustion. Oh, I love exhaustion. Great change on exhaustion. Teeth is fine. Fly speed. I like the change to the fly speed. Harder to bring down. Um, grappled. I don't like that you can just get grappled and you can't use an action to get out. Still don't like that. Escape while grappled. You make it a dexterity strength saving throw at the end of your turn. Only way to get out is at the end of your turn. I don't like it. Um, I'm going to go dissatisfied. And then have someone else help you in that case. They use the help action to give you advantage on the save. Uh, don't like only way out to grapple is a save. I do like that there is a, is a save because then you can do stuff and still try and get out. You're not like, you know, lose your turn type of thing and still be able to try and get out. But um, I also like the choice. Guidance spell, really loved it. Loved guidance. Help action, same as before, basically. Uh, heroic inspiration, fine. Heroic inspiration. Okay, so it's a re-roll if you don't have advantage already. That's confusing. Do we just make it a re-roll? Just say it's a re-roll, boom. Even if you have advantage, it's a re-roll. That's huge. I mean, 
that's going to give you 4d20 to get a good check on to use it as a reroll with advantage i mean you'd hardly ever miss with advantage so i could see why you don't want to be a reroll when they already have advantage uh, i'm gonna say satisfied i'm not i'm gonna say dissatisfied i don't know what to do about it uh hide that needs uh, editing hide ash needs editing hmm? <laughs> here we're coming up on the influence action okay so i like that influence is an action and that potentially there are feats that could give you influence as a bonus action. I think that's cool. Um, influence responses. I don't like the specific responses. I don't like that you can necessarily change any hostile creature's response. I mean, we do have this. The DM might determine, can sway it. First check fails automatically. No further influence attempts can be made unless its attitude shifts. Huh. So that's important to note. Um, and there should be, I think, a flag note of this note below the hostile creature's description. And 20 seems easy. And how many checks do they get? Because I see players like, oh, I failed. I'll try. I failed. I'll try. I mean, should they be getting <laughs> angry and angry? Um, indifferent. Maybe polite. Um, often necessary to try to persuade them. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Influence. Okay. I'm going to go with, I kind of like it. I kind of don't. Influence. Influence. Um, add. Last. Part of hostile description to table influence responses table as a foot in or to highlight there. Okay, invisible. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> jump. Visible jump. I hate it. It's terrible. Very dissatisfied. Uh, jump. Dislike the wide variation and a ten foot vertical for a commoner. One um, er, one jump out of 20 is a perfect illustration of this. And vertical should be quarter long and not one half. There we go. The thoughts on jump. And, and should be part of movement and not its own action. Boom. There we go. Okay. Light weapon property. I think it's cool. Um, oh, now it's not a bonus action. Huh. Make one extra attack as part of the same action. Wait a second. Must be made with a different light weapon in the other hand. All right. So, mm, satisfied, I'd say. Long rest is fine. Magic action, fine. Move. Um, overall, I mean, moves. Nothing to be dissatisfied about move except move. Allow multiple forms in same move. We can do math. Thank you. Um... Okay, musical instruments, like everything down to them, strike here. Ritual casting, what's that? If you have a spell prepared, hmm, maybe that's where spell books will come in. Other classes, they have to prepare the spell to have it as a ritual. Search, short sword, slow, study, swim, tool, teleportation, tremor sense, unarmed strike, still don't like it. Don't like that grappled is just automatic, and shove is just automatic, regardless of checks. I'm going to go very dissatisfied with that. Okay, unarmed strikes. Grapple and shove should retain post checks. There, 35% done. Holy cow. Um, with elements of the ability check as presented in the table skills, actually required the class as presented in the article. Ability check as presented in the article. What ability check are you talking about? Is there a table there that I missed? Ability check. Okay, yeah. Um, skills actually required. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All good. All good. And in a. Um, Elements of attack. Equipping weapons. Okay. Dissatisfied. Moving satisfied. Add a swapping weapon option to equip weapons. Boom. Next. Comments on Barkskin. It's cool. <laughs> uh, help. That's fine. Both. So here they're digging in the specifics. I was giving notes on getting his inspiration. Okay. Um, only one at a time. Okay. I was thinking about how you can make this heroic inspiration not so often. And that would be, I'm going to go dissatisfied here. One at a time, I like one at a time, but it shouldn't cascade to other characters. That would keep it reduced, I think. Although it makes sense that if you see someone do something heroic, you're going to have be inspired by it. Um, okay, so make it on a 20 instead of a 1. A 1. Uh, but it is happening too often. I don't know exactly what to do about it, except maybe take it away from the d20 rolls, put it back in the DM's hand. Uh, influence, okay. Attitude, interaction, ability check. Yeah, they're all... They're all fine, except for what I noted previously. Ah, so I'm going to do that, that, and dissatisfied, and add footnote to ability check. That matches the 
to ending text for hostile. Wow, it jumped up to 61% complete. Uh, it's all fine. Move as presented in the article. Break up your move. Fine. Moving creatures. Fine. Climbing and swimming. Very dissatisfied. Speed is zero. Okay, so allow full forms of movement in same move. We can do math. All right. 70% complete. Additional comments? No. Uh, classification for what is my age? Zero out of two. So if you're 100, you're out of luck. Uh, 52. Which country am I from? United States of America. Next. Racial or ethnic heritage. We're all one race. We're all human beings. Uh, which of these best describes your gender? Doesn't matter. Everyone should be treated equally in the game. And boom, we are done. All right. Uh, go fill out your survey. Uh, let me know what comments or what you thought of my comments. Uh, if there's something I was reading wrong, that'd be cool. I'd like to know about it. And uh, I look forward to the next play test. Please like, subscribe, tip, comment, uh, tell a friend. Everything helps the channel. And I'll see you next time.